Hello everyone, I am Dr. Louis Ocampo, Country Director of Joint United Nations Program on HIV and AIDS in the Philippines. As you know, the world is now facing an unprecedented threat of COVID-19 pandemic. Currently, the country is under enhanced community quarantine, and this situation has resulted to several challenges in the delivery of health services, including HIV. We at UNAIDS, together with UN Joint Team on AIDS, are doing the best we can to ensure that our deliverables are met without compromise. COVID-19 is a serious disease, and prevention is the key to end this pandemic. Everyone, including people living with the HIV, should practice the recommended precautions to limit or reduce exposure to SARS-CoV-2. At the moment, there is no evidence to suggest that people living with HIV are at a higher risk of contracting SARS-CoV-2. There is also no evidence at present to suggest that people living with HIV are at higher risk of serious illness if they do contract COVID-19. As in the general population, older people living with HIV or people living with HIV with heart or lung problems may be at a higher risk of becoming infected with the virus and of suffering more serious symptoms. For people living with HIV, it is very important that you continue taking your antiretroviral drugs as prescribed and that you have continuous access to these life-saving drugs. Reach out to your healthcare providers and secure adequate stocks of essential medicines. For HIV treatment facilities, it is critical that we implement mechanisms to prevent or at least minimize disruption of services. It is also recommended that multi-month dispensing of antiretroviral therapy is being fully implemented in all facilities. UNAIDS is hand-in-hand -hand with the government and community-based organizations in conducting studies and assessments to ensure that availability of HIV medication and services is consistent and reliable during these difficult times. Should there be an interruption of HIV services, we have contingency plans in place. As the saying goes, a chain is only as strong as its weakest link. And in this scenario, for us to end this chain of infection, our solidarity is vital to support the marginalized communities and the most vulnerable populations. More than being responsible for our own health, we are responsible for one another. Let us be reminded that amidst social distancing, there is togetherness in our community. And with optimism and resilience, we are steadfast in keeping our chain of community healthy and strong. We are in this battle together, and no one should be left behind. Thank you, and stay safe.